Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. I just wanted to show you guys, this is my Steinway Model C that I just set up. Um, it's She's gonna need a lot of work. It's gonna need so much work. Um, this is a seven foot five, everybody, so. Let me stand back here. It's a seven foot five or seven foot four. Some, of the, some, of, some people say it's seven foot four some people say seven foot five. Me, I'm just gonna say eight foot. <laughs> but it's not an eight foot, it's a seven foot five. Uh, they said the Steinway C is basically a Hamburg model. And they did come out with some New York models. So I think this one is a New York model, not a Hamburg. I may be wrong, but please correct me um, if you think it's a Hamburg. Um, this one is pretty cool. It's not. 88 keys is actually 85 keys as you can see it needs new key tops which I have I actually have new key tops for it um, inside soundboard looks pretty good but it needs a little TLC needs new strings the strings are kind of rusty um, let's move this back the pins are rusty the hammers need refacing you know, I don't have the money to do all the hammer work for, you know, the crisis that we're all going through with this coronavirus thing. So I have to save up money for supplies for home. Um, the pins, I got some pins, but I don't know if they're the right pins, so I'm just going to get new pins. Um, I already got the new um, treble strings. I just have to get the new bass strings. Um, but every key plays, and it's a little out of tune, so... <laughs> and that's what it is. It's a Steinway and Sons. And for it, everybody says, yes, it's a Hamburg model because of the curve. The, um, you know, the curved cheeks. The New York model has the pointed cheeks. But, you know, some New York models do have the curved cheeks. Um, okay, so it's sitting right next to my 7-foot Busendorfer. Which is right here. It says Busendorfer. And also it is sitting across from my 9 foot Baldwin. And this is a Baldwin SD6. And there is teddy bear stuffing over there. I just unstuffed a big huge teddy bear which I want to make into a teddy bear costume. Uh, just like how I did last time. But it's pretty cool and I forgot to put the support rods on there so that, that's exactly what I'm going to end up doing now um, so the plate on here because a lot of people is going to ask about the plate yep this is Steinway and Sons um, overstrung scale patent December 20th 1859 May 28 1872 so this one says New York so this this is a New York Steinway Steinway Foundry, what does it say right there? Composite Metal Casting. And over here, Repetition Action Patent November 30th, 1875, Capo Diastro Bar Patent November 30th, 1875, Duplex Scaling. So these are all the features, you know. It's just like on a digital keyboard i just got this rolling right here just like on a digital keyboard it'll say genre midi gs and xg which is pretty cool that rolling's pretty cool so i'm gonna make a demo of that but yeah everybody this is a new york this is a new york steinway and i'm from new york uh let's go to the back of it and and the year is 1875 everybody i looked it up there you go, Steinway and Sons. And right over here, registered October 28, 1876. Uh, and that's weird, because if it's registered 1876, how come the year is different? Okay, 
and same thing July 9, 1876. So this is an early Steinway, it's three pedals. And over here it says Acoustic Dow Patton, April 6, 1869, Tubular Metal Action Frame Patton, August 1868, August 10th, 1869, and November 13th, 1877. And over here is Ornamental Design Patton. November 9th, 1875. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. Those are the sound vent holes. My Busenoffer has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten holes in this bad boy right over here. And my Baldwin, my Baldwin 9 has, and excuse the mess that's inside of it, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven. But, but this has a powerful bass. So if I get new bass strings for this, this is another concert grand that I have, which is really cool. So, all right, everybody, I'm happy. These are my pianos. Let's see if I could get it without the two bars, but these are my pianos right here. Plus my Roland Digital piano. And that's it, that's it. I'll be seeing you and I'll make you more updates. Oh, by the way, here's another piano right over here. Uh, you probably can't see it because of the light, but that one's on its side, that's a play out. Play L7 footer. And I'm actually giving that to a friend. It can't stay in tune at all. But he's going to rebuild it. Alright everybody. There it is. Bye bye.